Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike Chen. I haven't done one of these info videos in a while and I really wanted to talk about this topic. Now, there's no delicious foods in this video, quite the opposite, so just a heads up if that's what you're looking for. As many of you may know, I love Chinese food. It's my favorite. I love that I could travel across China and find different awesome foods in each of the various provinces. You can find these awesome foods in restaurants, night markets, little vendor booths, basically anywhere. Now, I wanted to do this video because a lot of you guys have been messaging me because you're traveling to China and you're asking me for tips and I typically tell you guys what are some of the best food places and what types of foods are the local specialties but I also want you guys to be careful as many of you may know China is pretty infamous for fake stuff fake clothing fake electronics and even fake foods in fact there are many foods in China that aren't exactly what they seem in order to save on money and ingredients some people have been very creative in creating foods that look really good but are actually quite dangerous so here are 10 fake foods to watch out for when you're in China number one fake eggs if you're in China and you're trying to find eggs for the cheap, double check to make sure that they're actually real eggs. The tip here is if the eggs sell for about six cents cheaper than they usually go for, they might be fake. These imitation eggs are completely man-made. The egg whites are made by preparing an egg mold, then mixing the right amounts of risen, starch, coagulant, and pigments to make the egg white. The egg yolk is added after the egg white is made and is also made with a mixture of resin and pigments. After the desired shape is achieved, the shell is made with wax, gypsum powder, and calcium carbonate. These eggs are not only fake, but may also cause memory loss and dementia if you eat them too often. Now, if you're suspicious that the eggs may be fake, here's how you can tell. The fake eggs are too perfectly shaped and smooth. Also, real eggs have a faint smell to them that imitation eggs lack. And if you tap a fake egg, it sounds much more hollow than a real egg would. And once you crack open a fake egg, the egg whites and yolk will mix together very quickly, unlike what would happen if you cracked open a real egg. Now, I have no idea what these fake eggs taste like and I never want to find out, but if I have to guess, they probably taste like plastic sadness. Number two, walnuts filled with cement. This sounds pretty ridiculous, but fake walnuts are actually a thing. People are actually replacing the walnuts meat with concrete chips and paper so that the nuts doesn't make a suspicious noise when it's shaken and then glues shut together. With this method, sellers can actually double their profits and sell the fake nuts and walnut meat separately. Walnuts have also gotten more expensive in China, which means more profit for fake walnut vendors and less happy face for buyers who obviously aren't happy with their rocks. Number three, beef, but not really. If you go into a restaurant and order a big bowl of beef noodle soup, be careful because the beef may not actually be beef, but instead pork disguised as beef. This is possible by using a beef extract that can turn pork into fake beef in about 90 minutes. Restaurants do this because obviously pork is way more affordable than beef. And this is how they do it. First of all, they get their hands on a bottle of beef extract. Then they cut the pork into pieces and add the beef extract to all the pieces of pork. After half an hour, the pork turns into a brownish color and then you add it to boiling water to cook it. The color of the pork will darken even more and then it's time to add beef powder. After adding the beef powder, they add some caramel and mix the pork powder and caramel together. The final product gives you something that looks and even smells like stewed beef. Number four, black and white pepper. You can't even get real seasoning in China anymore and this is shown by the fact that people are making man-made black and white pepper. A vendor was caught making pepper from questionable ingredients and was discovered by a shopper in Guangdong province. And upon further investigations, authorities found that the black pepper was actually made from local mud and the white pepper was mainly composed of flour. When the vendor was questioned about his actions, he simply said that his fake pepper quote, would not kill people. He sold the fake pepper for six yuan per kilo and it only cost him four yuan per kilo to make. I guess you could say that the black peppers that were made from mud were really dirt cheap to make. Sorry. Next up, number five, honey. Honey is one thing you should almost never buy in China. Did you know that up to 60 to 70% of all the honey in China are actually fake? This was proven by an investigation made by Jinan Times revealing the malpractice in the Shandong honey industry. The honey sold are either diluted or have things added to them such as beetroot syrup and rice syrup. Since sugar syrup is really cheap, many companies have been adding it to honey to make some profits. 
Also, mixing sugar syrup and real honey together makes it almost impossible to distinguish from the real thing because honey itself is insanely sweet to begin with. At the same time, honey has been more difficult to produce in China because bees have decreased in number due to pesticides, land clearance, and climate change. Chinese honey is even banned in Europe, and many countries around the world are aware of China's bad honey reputation. But since testing the authenticity of honey is quite difficult, maybe you should just avoid buying that when you're in China. Number six, plastic rice. If you eat Chinese food often enough, you know that rice is a staple product and that it's always on the table. But for four years now, China has been producing fake rice and is still on the market. Singapore media reported that this so-called rice is made from potatoes, sweet potatoes, and poisonous plastic. The fake rice looks just like regular rice grains, but when cooked, it still remains hard. People say that one of the most popular types of rice is called Wu Chang rice, and is also famous for its smell and costs almost double compared to regular rice. The fake rice was sprayed with a fragrance to replicate the original rice smell. Eating this rice can cause digestive issues and could be fatal if consumed daily. Number seven, rat mutton. This was actually something my parents told me to look out for ever since I was a kid in China. Authorities have found that people in China have used chemicals to transform rat meat into mutton slices, which are a popular type of meat used in Chinese hot pots and are sliced very thinly. But here's how you can tell these two meats apart. When they bring out the meat for hot pot, it's typically frozen. Wait till it thaws and try to separate the fat from the lean parts of the meat. The fake mutton fat and meat would easily separate while the real mutton would stay intact. Number Eight chemical tofu. In China, a dried tofu stick was found to have been sold that contained cancer-causing chemicals. This chemical is called rongolite, an industrial bleaching agent that made these dried tofu slices chewier and brighter. The rongolite is extremely toxic. Just 10 grams of the pure stuff can kill a healthy adult. When the police went to investigate the factory from which it was made, the factory was filled with a choking odor and there were bags filled with powdered rongolite. Number nine, fake wine. China is the largest importer of French wine, almost amounting to $1 billion in 2012. But French wine is expensive, so some distributors had the idea of taking cheap wine and putting them in the expensive wine bottles. And the trickery is not limited to just wine. A lot of alcohol in China is fake as well. For example, many people have died over the years, and some even in foreign countries when they drank vodka imported from China that contained paint thinners. And finally, number 10, cardboard buns. Now, I love Chinese steamed buns. They're there's so much variety. If you never had one, you're definitely missing out. But my suggestion is make sure you know where your steam buns are made from when you get them in China. Supposedly, a supplier in Beijing found a way to keep the price down by using cardboard as a substitute filling. There's actually a recipe online for cardboard xiaolong bao or soup dumplings. If you guys were curious, here's how it goes. First, you soak the used and yeah, used cardboard with water and Kazakh soda, which is a poisonous chemical, until tender. Then stir in pork fat and add your leeks. Then stuff this mixture into a dough wrapper and steam it. I don't know what these things taste like. I don't know if they actually taste like a pork steamed bun. I hope never to find out and I hope you guys will never find out either. Uh, maybe one benefit is that you will get more fiber in your diet, but, but seriously, let's not joke around. This can actually make a person really sick. So there you go, guys. Those are some of the foods to look out for if you ever spend some time in China. Now, I love China. It's where I was born. It's such a beautiful country. And if you guys have the chance, you should definitely go. But fake foods, toxic foods, this is seriously a concern. And you should be aware of this when you go there. I remember even when I was young, growing up in China, when we eat out, my parents would actually inspect the meat, inspect the foods. I mean, fake foods, this is a real issue. Like I mentioned, even Chinese people living in China are aware of this and they try to be very careful of this because this is not like a fake pair of Nike sneakers. I mean, the worst thing that can happen with that is you're out a hundred bucks. With fake foods, it can really do some bad things to your body. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later.